Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Lama Lama. So we're back in the uh, Tower of Ruin. I can't remember the name of the place. We died last time. Hopefully we won't be doing that again today. As we get the map already again. And I'm really that excited. I don't know. Not the map. Sacred Orb. Ah. Those are always good. And this time I know that those are little hot bases things. Follow the name that means a name. Yeah, we gotta... yeah, we saw these already. There was a one or two that I actually did save at some point. Okay, that didn't happen last time. Let's not do that again. Hey, the way back there is actually quite long and annoying. And if everything that I did last time is now... Yeah, I gotta go open that pot again. Gotta make it through the white fuzzy thing flying around. Shield now. That's a plus. It doesn't really help me at this exact moment, though. Oh, there's a sacred aura right at the entrance of the Tower of Ruin, so... Or right inside the Tower of Ruin, rather. So that will, at le the very least, restore my health any of any damage that I take on the way there. Ah, yes, this room, the silly fake platform. Ah, oh, flying butt monsters. Aha! I actually made that jump. Oh, hey, this is a pot also. Whatever the heck it is. Alright, so yeah, this this place might turn out to be a little more tricky than I expected. I've died twice now, accomplished next to nothing in the process of dying. So this area sh should prove interesting. Oh, and apparently the shield is a toggle, not a uh, press and hold. You're not getting me this time. Wait for you to drop, and then I'm gonna go. And away I go. Did not get knocked into the lava by the fire lizard. There was something in here, I don't really remember what. Raise the recorded knowledge of walls. This knowledge will operate in a mechanical box as a virtual wise man. It shall awaken should a wise man read the mural. I believe that is referring to something in the computer, or the Super MSX2, or whatever that name of the laptop the MSX is using, is actually now. And because, why not? Save it. At the discovered while kind of glancing over that uh, thing in the room, I'm apparently not in a very much of a reading stuff kind of frame of mind tonight. Okay, let's not hit that again. So I'm gonna refrain from reading stuff that I kind of remember having read in the past. So hopefully I read them all, but if I don't, well, that's why. Oh, great bird, give us mercy. Will crushing that hand bring us mercy? No, no, no. Not a regular shotgun. Alright, let's try this again. We had the same issue last time. We're just gonna need to go all out and kill it before it manages to turn into electric. Now it's going a different direction. What the heck? Let's try this a third time. Last time. And that time I just fell. Like on the right, we'll go left. Yes, okay, this. No, 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 other way. Not entirely sure what's going on here. It's like you can read my mind. Let's see here for a second. 
There we go. Ah, with the chakra. And I missed out on half the money. And that's where we went last time. I'm pissed off about missing that money now. What the hell, game? What the hell? So yeah, apparently if you want money from this bo mini-boss, don't kill it over an opening. Meza using those claws quite strategically on air. Let's take some skill. Skanda, a large clay doll. The one who holds the golden key which soars through the skies. We are after a key of some sort. This place looks like tons of fun. I have no idea what I was supposed to actually have been doing in this room, but there you go. If you're there and stuck, hit those two in that particular order and you'll be good to go. I wish I had a map, but part of me wants to jump down there, and the other part of me thinks that will lead back to where we came in and won't really benefit me in any way, shape, or form. So why not? Let's actually go see where this leads. Yeah, kind of no place useful. And we are in the lava again. Although this place is quite a bit easier to get out of said lava, apparently. As I get knocked right back into it. And then grab the wall and jump back to this room. Yeah. Right, let's the ground. And I did it again. This is why I can't have nice things. There we go, we made it. That's all we wanted. Now let's head left from this room this time. Now this room I remember. Getting hit by those little wispy things. Ah, no hitting things with lightning eyes, right? Okay, let's go the other way. I know I saved this one. Translation software has learned 20% of the ancient characters. Alright, cool. It's kind of the, uh... Rosetta Stone of La Mulana. Or at least part of the Rosetta Stone of La Mulana. Super white wispy things. There's a shop in this room. This is also where I hit something I shouldn't have got zapped to death. Something, something, something. A woman with a giant urn and a grail. So of course, you know, I know there's something bad in this room, so what am I gonna do? Hit random stuff, because, you know, why not? What's the worst that could happen? I could die in the exact same spot as the previous episode. <laughs> yeah. See the lightning eyes, so I can hit random stuff in this room, no problem. Theory, no problems. That box pot thing exploding on me, causing me to take damage, or rather inflicting damage upon me. That's sometimes we use words. Ow! Did not notice that lightning eye. So logically, we are 
just about dead, so what are we gonna do? Not go heal, obviously. And if we come across any particularly nasty looking room, the glowing red crucifix is a beacon that connects the seen and the unseen. This isn't particularly important, but yeah. Let's save it, we have room. Nobody can hide. We can do as we please in theory. This is a secret light secret lightning eyes. Oh, freaking knockback. I kind of vaguely remember stuff. Hey, girl point. Uh, yeah, let's go over there. And I still can't teleport here. There's a bunch of fairies in this room. Mischief, no damage done by unintentional mischief. That is somewhat related to that, I believe. And part of me wants to say there's another entrance into here that is more relevant, and I could have just killed myself right there if there had been a lightning eye. And they're all kind of going in circles, except for that one. Well, that one, I don't know. Whatever. Scanning those little uh, roses, I think they are. Across the room. Uh, I'm gonna go scan it, so hopefully it'll tell me what it's actually called. Blah blah blah. It's like I can't read or can't translate. Cross of light. A cross that can be found at various locations, all were placed at a later time. Not particularly helpful, but oh well. Oh, bad skeleton. Dead skeleton. Now let's, in theory, go do what I came this way to do. Hit it all, I'm dead. The ones that created Nua, the ones that tried to imitate the powers of the Great Mother, the power to create life, the power that created us, those wishes were not granted. And part of me wants to hit that, part of me kind of figures that that's meant to be entered from another direction, hence the uh, pedestal behind it, that more likely than not, when, um, a weight is placed on it, will open up from the other side, or will lower a pillar or something that lets you go from the left side of that room into the right side. So on that note, we're all for our, well, I'll say daily, but yeah, more or less a daily trip to the hot spring. You guys, hot springs are 
nice, toasty, and they feel your aching bones and muscles. In this case, they restore his health so I don't get him killed. Good stuff, definitely. So at this point, I have no clue what I should be doing, where I should be going. gotten any particular item recently that would be like, oh yeah, hey, now we can go do that. So, might it be time to explore the Twin Labyrinths, or is there something obvious that I'm missing someplace else? I don't think I've ever really fully explored any of the Twin Labyrinths, so... This could be as good of time as any. I don't think of any other spots where like, we haven't been able to actually do anything. Oh, looks like I start to push it, but then I hit it, so I stop pushing it. We have a plan already. We just kind of talked about this. Just trying to talk on the way back. I really hate having to edit a second uh, audio track and stuff. So to the Twin Labyrinth, and hopefully there's something useful there, and we're not just wasting time. Of course, the Twin Labyrinth is, well, a unique dungeon compared to the other ones. These, like, Tower of Ruin is the reverse side of the Inferno Cavern. The Great Little Giants, Mausoleum of Giants, the... It was Confusion Gate and Guidance Gate in the original. You know what? We did this last time. We have another Sacred Orb, so let's try and beat that mini-boss again. You know, that might just be what it is. I know there's... I know the item that would make that a lot easier. But it's like, ah, that boss just taunts me. Or we can just explore also. But no, nah, let's go get the new boss. Ah, oh, fuck, Ninja Monkeys. And the worst thing that happens? Well, I die again and then the episode. impression of this is that it's going a little better than previous attempts at doing this. And now it's going slightly worse than a moment ago. Oh, you son of a bitch. Now you don't. feathers. I don't think I realized that. Man, I'm gonna die right here. Ooh, no. Although that, those, that, that flare might have saved me. Oh! So close, yet so far. So I'm actually gonna pause this quick. And as I was so saying, er, as I was saying before, I sort of rudely cut myself off by pausing the video. And we'll come back and try this a second time, because that was actually probably going better than every other attempt previously. Like here, I'm kind of... Well, that's how I didn't get frozen. Right, that's how I got frozen, rather. I'll 
slowly but surely, I'm at least in, I'm pretending to inflict damage. As he definitely inflicts damage upon me. spot here for this. Might not be. Although I wonder... Those shield block feathers. Oh, hey. Although I, uh, that works even better than having to put up the shield. Alright, so finally we beat the Twin Labyrinth mini-boss. I accomplished something this episode, even though I died yet again on this particular boss. Thanks for watching. Next time we're going to go through that door on the right-hand side of this room in the Twin Labyrinth. Thanks for watching, feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe, and have yourselves a great day.